AI is impressive, and you can make a lot of money with it, but I don't really like how they're using it. I mean, you can write songs, essays, blogs, and even code. You don't need to get creative and use the tool, not just let it do its thing. So make sure to watch till the end. Now, the thing that I'm proposing here is making a browser extension. You, yeah, you heard that right. You need to code, but not you exactly. ChatGPT will do it for you. So let's begin. Making money with a Chrome browser extension. The business is massive. By this time, everyone has used or seen an extension. Chrome extensions, there are a ton or the Chrome store, and you can have your own extension in there too. A Chrome browser extension is a software program that adds functionality to the Chrome web browser. It can modify the user interface, enhance website features, and integrate with other software. To create a Chrome extension, you'll need to use programming language such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and development tools such as Chrome DevTools and a code editor. Here is a basic step-by-step -step process for creating a Chrome extension. ChatGPT is the ultimate AI powerhouse developed by OpenAI capable of engaging in conversation, answering questions, and providing information. Built on the GPT architecture and trained on an extensive dataset of human-generated responses, the sophisticated model generates human-like text with an unparalleled level of accuracy. Number 1. Define the purpose and functionality of your extension When creating a Chrome browser extension using ChatGPT, it's very important to define the purpose and functionality of the extension. This step is going to help you understand what you want to achieve and guides the development process. This is the blueprint phase. The purpose of the extension simply means the problem it solves or what benefit it provides to the buyer. The functionality, on the other hand, refers to the specific features and actions that the extension performs to fulfill its purpose. Now let's see for example, let's say if creating a Chrome extension using ChatGPT to improve productivity. The purpose of the extension would be to help users manage their tasks efficiently. The functionality of the extension could include features such as creating to-do lists, setting reminders, and providing motivational messages to keep users focused. To elaborate further, let's say you want to create a Chrome extension using ChatGPT GBT that provides daily inspirational quotes to users. The purpose of the extension would be to inspire and motivate users. The functionality of the extension could include features such as accessing a database of inspirational quotes, selecting a random quote to display each day, and allowing users to share the quote on social media. Another example could be a Chrome extension that helps users learn a new language. The purpose of the extension would be to provide a platform for users to learn a new language. While the functionality could include features such as providing vocabulary, words and phrases, giving quizzes and tests, and tracking progress. Defining the purpose and functionality of your Chrome extension using ChatGPT is crucial for creating an effective and useful tool. It helps you understand what you want to achieve and guides the development process to ensure that the extension fulfills its purpose and provides value to users. Choose a name and create a folder for your extension on your computer. Choosing a name and creating a folder for your extension is an important step in the development process. The name of your extension should be descriptive and catchy so that it stands out in the Chrome Web Store. It's a good idea to brainstorm some ideas and do a quick search to make sure that the name is not already taken. Once you have a name, you should create a folder on your computer to organize the files and code related to your extension. This folder should have a clear and concise name that reflects the name of your extension. Inside the folder, you can create subfolders to organize your code, images, and other resources. Organizing your files and code in this way will help you stay organized and make it easier to find what you need when you're working on your extension. It'll also make it easier to share your code with others and collaborate on the project. To create a new folder on your computer, simply right-click on your desktop or in a file explorer window and select New Folder. Give the folder a name that reflects the name of your extension and then open it up to begin organizing your files and code. This is a crucial step that should not be overlooked. By taking the time to organize your files and code in a clear and concise way, you will set yourself up for success as you move forward with developing your extension. Number 3. Create a manifest.json file in the folder which contains important information about your extension such as its name, version, description, and permissions. After creating a folder for your extension, the next step is to create a manifest.json file in that folder. This file contains important information about your extension that Chrome uses to understand and run it properly. This gets more technical, so make sure to pay attention. To create a manifest.json file, you can use any text editor like Notepad or TextEdit, 
Open the text editor and create a new file, then save the file as manifest.json in the folder you created earlier. The contents of the manifest.json file will vary depending on your extension, but it must include certain information such as the name of your extension, version number, description, and permissions. In this example, test extension is the name of the extension, L1, is the version number, and this is a description of my test extension, is a brief description of what the extension does. The permissions section tells Chrome which permissions your extension needs to function properly. In this case, the extension needs permission to access the Tabs API, which allows it to interact with browser tabs. Once you've created and saved the manifest.json file with the appropriate information for your extension, you're ready to move on to the next step of the process. Number 4. Write the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code for your extension's user's interface and functionality. To write the code for your extension's user interface and functionality, you can use any text editor or integrated development environment IDE, that you're comfortable with. First, create an HTML file that will serve as the main user interface for your extension. This file should contain the basic structure of an HTML document, including the declaration, tags, and a section. In the section, include a link to your CSS file and any other necessary scripts. Next, create a CSS file that will style your extension's user interface. This file should contain CSS rules for all the HTML elements you've included in your HTML file. You can use CSS to create a visually appealing and user-friendly design for your extension. Finally, write the JavaScript code that will give your extension its functionality. This code should be included in a separate .js file and linked to your HTML file. In the JavaScript code, you can use the Chrome API to interact with the browser and perform various tasks, such as manipulating the DOM, accessing user data, and sending requests to external APIs. When writing the code for your extension, it's important to keep in mind the specific purpose and functionality you've defined for your extension. Your code should be well organized and easy to read, with comments to explain what each section of the code is doing. Number 5. Publish your extension to the Chrome Web Store or distribute it privately if desired. After testing and making any necessary adjustments to your Chrome extension using DevTools, it's time to publish it. Publishing on the Chrome Web Store is the most common method, but you can also choose to distribute it privately if you prefer. To publish on the Chrome Web Store, you'll need to create a developer account and pay a one-time registration fee. Once you've done that, you can upload your extension by going to the developer dashboard and clicking add new item. You'll be prompted to upload a zip file containing your extension's files, including the manifest.json file. Before publishing, make sure to fill out all required fields such as the extension's name, description, and screenshots. You can also choose whether to make your extension free or paid and set a price if applicable. Once your extension is published, users can find and install it from the Chrome Web Store. Note that it may take some time for your extension to be reviewed and approved by the Chrome Web Store, so be patient. If you decide to distribute your extension privately, you can do so by sharing the extension zip file with others. However, keep in mind that this method may not be as secure as publishing on the Chrome Web Store, as users will need to enable developer mode in Chrome to install the extension from a zip file. Will you try it? Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Have a good day!